Hey everyone, welcome to the channel Automation with Gaurav. I am Gaurav Patnaik, and today we are diving into something that every QA engineer and automation tester must, must understand that is chain test reporting. Ever wondered how to connect your test executions, results, and metrics across multiple systems into one seamless report? That's exactly what, what chain test reporting does. And once you master it, your QA reports will never look the same again. So bye bye to extend report and welcome to this new chain test reporting. So why we need a chain test report? In this video, we will break down what chain test reporting actually means, why it's used in modern CI CD pipelines and how it helps in identifying test dependencies, tracking defects and improving traceability. So whether you are a beginner or a senior QA lead, stay tuned till the end because this intro will set the foundation for everything that follows in the series. Let's get started. So So let's see the agenda for this video. We're gonna cover what is chain test reporting, why we use chain test in automation framework, benefits of our traditional reporting tools. So you know we have worked external report and HTML report before. So those are the traditional reporting tools. And lastly, we'll see high level demo of a sample report of chain test report so let's begin so before starting on this topic uh, i'm just gonna show you how the reporting looks like uh, so this is the chain test report you can see the summary section here the test cases here the steps <coughs> The status of pass and fail so this is the basic report which we can see and we will discuss this in detail so what's a chain test reporting chain test is basically it's a modern reporting framework designed specifically for automation testing so unlike traditional tools it focuses on representing execution in a chained format showing dependencies and sequence of test flows so there are many features to this chain test reporting and it is more beneficial than extend report in many ways but like we can have real-time analytics so teams can view their test runs as they happen helping them quickly find and fix the issues watching updates on test progress like failures and successes provides helpful insights we can see historical data as well. So all the past test runs, they are stored in chain LP. So these, this thing helps the team analyzing trends and code changes to improve their strategies. So, and chain test is also a simple setup. You don't need so many things. You just need few configurations to do and you are set to create a chain test report. So the question is why we need chain test report in automation framework. Already we have extend report. We can use that earlier report also is there. We can use that, but why why we can replace that with chain test reporting? So automation is not only about pass or fail. Okay, so like we need to understand the journey, and like it will help the QA teams and the developers to visualize step by step execution. So the debugging will be faster and collaboration will be easier we can easily find the old test runs and we can compare with the new test runs as well it offers real-time data interactive dashboards and better teamwork for testing groups so as a as a automation moving to quicker integration and delivery so having this strong and flexible reporting tool is very much important 
than ever that's why we should uh, replace our old reporting tool with chain test reporting so now we can see some of the benefits of chain test over traditional reporting tools so better visualization of dependencies easy connection with popular test frameworks like JUnit test MG and Cucumber PyTest support is coming soon that that is update as, as for now and uh, yeah so mm, the logs we can see of each test steps and for any failed steps we can have the screen sold also in the reporting and it's CICD friendly with publishing report so we can uh, integrate it with Jenkins or GitLab actions and any other uh, thing related so yeah and uh, it's HTML report is uh, very attractive and informative so now coming to the uh, high level demo of a sample report we can see uh, like there are two slides I'll just take you to the real report so that we can see that in detail so you can see the report which is generated basically I have executed uh, one of the uh, suit so that's why I have uh, got this report this has been executed and uh, um, chain test reporting has been implemented in the framework so the components as we can see is the title and the timestamps when the execution started and when it has end and how many how much time it has taken 49 seconds all the summary related details like suits classes methods one passed three passed so basically seven test methods are there uh, for three classes so that's why all the details are mentioned as per that so coming down we can see each step each test and its steps so this has been done only because of the logs that has that are created with test and test chain test report yeah so you can see all the details here if you expand you can see all the steps yeah so this is kind of high level demo of a sample chain test reporting which has been implemented in the automation test framework and that's a wrap on our introduction to chain test reporting I hope this video helped you understand how linking your test reports across systems can give you cleaner insights, better traceability and strong QA visibility. If you find this video useful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. It really helps the channel grow and keeps me motivated to create more QA focused content like this. In the next video, we'll go deeper into how chain test reporting actually works so we'll go deep into seeing how we're gonna do the setup step by step integration and real world examples you don't want to miss it thanks for watching stay curious keep testing and i will see you in the next one thanks a lot